Victor, you're going in circles as much as you're pacing back and forth in your room. In any case, I was so touched by that moving story that you elaborated and said for no apparent reason, unless you're just indulging your fans and stroking your ego, which both things you like to do and go hand in hand quite well together. Point proven. My point. I don't care about injuries. I don't care about how many days I have for each match or what kind of match. I don't count those days. I live day to day. Now, if you're going to worry about a number, then worry about your own damn number. You want this match so much that you're going through your playbook. And you're coming up with same stuff, but nothing is being brought to the table. Two out of three falls, two out of three falls, two out of three falls. And the final one being a submission match. You know, I would have a better match with Dan than anybody. You know what? Screw it. You and I can keep doing this promo war back and forth till October 20th. But will anything change? No. Unless you bring something to the table. You went in on a story about how much beating me up got you through dark times. Really? Oh, Victor. I don't even know if I should laugh or cry or both. I don't, you keep going around about dance and everything else, you bring up what I say about injuries, and you make it sound like I've been nagging at him, as this subject, like the source of every video that I've put out there, like, what's this one about? My brain damage again? or the long pauses, or the way I talk, or, hmm. This is nothing new from your playbook. I don't care even if you dug down deep and attacked my family because it's quite interesting to see how moved and in touch with your family and I even make slight light of it and I get this Victor you know what you talked about how you want the Reaper man this is not even the victor. Hell, Big Boss was a better challenge than you.